Hey guys, what is going on? This is Jobber Help, and in today's video, guys, I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak iOS 6, guys. But the difference in this time is that now Retina will install Cydia on your iOS device. So, guys, this is Retina 0.9 um, 15 beta 1. And so, here, guys, I'm just going to quickly show you that I am on iOS 6 indeed. So, as you can see, there's the Pathback applications. And if I go into settings and then navigate to general about, Right there, guys, for the version, it does say iOS 6.0, so that does prove that I am on iOS 6.0. So, guys, after that, you will have to have your device plugged in, guys, and you do not need uh, any firmware for this um, whatsoever. So, uh, this does not work on the iPhone 4S nor iPad 2, guys, and for the iPhone 3GS old boot run, this is a untethered jailbreak, but for the rest of the devices, this is a tethered jailbreak. So, guys, if you're on a Windows PC, just go ahead and launch this as an administrator. Click on OK, and if you're on a Mac, just launch it normally. And after that, guys, the only thing that you have to do is click on jailbreak. And once you're in here, it'll tell you that you have to put your device into DFU mode. So, let's go ahead and do that, guys. So, we're going to go ahead and hold home and power for 10 seconds. So, after that, we're going to release the power button and keep holding home until Retina goes automatically to the next step. So, release the power button right here and keep holding home guys and you will see that retinal does go to the next step automatically as you are seeing right here guys it is preparing the file system and all of that good stuff so as you can see now we do have the option to install Cydia and optionally you can enable battery percentage but after that just go ahead and click on next and then it'll process your device guys and reboot it and whatnot guys and after that you will have some strange text as you see right here but don't worry guys that is normal just go ahead and wait. After that, it will move the applications, and this will vary depending on how much applications you have on your device. So after that, it will move the bundles and reboot, guys. And after it is done rebooting, you will see that you uh, well, you will not see Cydia, guys. However, that is normal because we have to boot. Head. So again, guys, put your device into DFU mode, and after you've done that, guys, go ahead and go into um, Red Snow. And if you did not close it, guys. As I told you before, you can go ahead and just navigate to back and then click on just boot as I am doing right here. However, if you did close restaurant, just go ahead and open it up, go to extras and just boot guys and wait for your device to boot. So guys, after your device is done rebooting, you will see Cydia guys and as you can see right there, there it is. And if we go ahead and launch Cydia guys, we will notice that it does tell us if you want to select user. Um, developer or um, hacker and I just normally use uh, said developer but just go ahead and click on done and see that it is loading and as you can see right there it is reloading the data and it is per working perfectly fine and guys you can um, set a, uh, a do I send my tether jailbreak I will have the tutorial down in the description below guys so that if you run out of battery you can just reboot normally and I uh, have use of Safari and mail so thanks for watching this video please comment in the below so much you think about this um new to the jewelry guys and so yeah guys, i just hope you have a really really nice day and i'll see you all in my next video